What's up everybody, Rad Dad Cooks. Today we're gonna to be whipping up these awesome, super keto friendly, dry rub chicken wings. They're gonna have kind of that tequila lime vibe to them. We're using some silver tequila, some hot sauce, and some key lime juice to marinate them and also baste them with while they're in the Traeger grill smoking. And then in the end, we're gonna to top them off with a little dry rub for an awesome keto snack, dinner, or party favor. Rad Dad Cooks, y'all. I find that chicken, for the most part, especially with the bone in, ends up being super juicy in the Traeger without you even having to brine it. But since we are trying to keep this recipe keto friendly, we are gonna do a little brine marinade. And once we make it, we're gonna split it in half. We're gonna let the chicken marinate for two hours and half of it. And the other half we're gonna use for our moppins when it's on the Traeger. For our marinade slash mop, we're just going three ingredients. We're just gonna go equal parts of all these ingredients. So I'm doing a quarter cup of the tequila. I prefer a silver tequila for this, but use whatever you have on hand or like. A little bit of acidity from some key lime juice, and we'll get our spice from a quarter cup of your favorite hot sauce. I really like Xanarays on chicken. Give it a nice little whisk. And we'll go ahead and pour half of this over our chicken and kind of massage it to get it nice and in there. Now that we got our wings all marinated up, we're gonna go ahead and get them in the fridge for at least two hours. If you got the time, go a little bit longer. This is around four pounds of wings if you are keeping track at home. Also, I do like using fresh kind of wings. These are ones from Costco. The frozen ones are kind of good in the fryer, but I really like the fresh ones for grilling and smoking with. We're gonna be doing the chicken wings in a two-step temperature scheme. First, we're gonna start off at 180 degrees and we're gonna smoke them for about an hour. After that hour's up, flip them, hit them with our sauce and we're gonna raise the temperature up to 250 on the Traeger and smoke them for another hour to an hour and a half. Of course, always check with a the meat thermometer to make sure your chicken has reached 165 degrees to avoid salmonella. After about two and a half hours total time, our wings are gonna look like this and it's time to toss them and serve them. Since we are going keto friendly on this, we're just gonna do a dry rub. Put your desired amount of wings into a bowl and hit it with a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna to toss it around to coat. This is gonna help that dry rub stick to the wings. Now top it with whatever kind of dry rub seasoning. I'm using the Kirkland's Best Organic Taco Seasoning from Costco. And man, look at that wing, nice and crispy. If you're more of the meal prep type, once your wings are cooled, put them in a Ziploc bag and store them in the fridge. When you're ready to eat, hit them with a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna make them crisp up and give something for our dry rub to stick to. In this particular batch, I'm using the lemon pepper seasoning by Kinder's, pick it up at Costco. It is so good with the smoky flavor profile of these wings. Empty them onto your tray and stick them right on into your air fryer. Reheat these for 10 minutes at 325 degrees for an awesome pre-prepped keto-friendly meal. Thanks a lot for coming out, guys, and checking out my keto chicken wings. Got any ideas or anything else that you'd like to see me cook on this channel? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, Rad Dad Cook signing off. Peace. Thank you for tuning in, and if you love the content of this video, hit like on the way out. If you're new, become part of the Rad Dad Cooks ecosystem by subscribing and dinging that notification bell.